Scientists are working on unmanned aircraft to help firefighters and law enforcement save lives. It's happening at the Wyoming National Guard's Camp Guernsey Joint Training Center. We have a research and development grant and then we're developing the systems that go on this aircraft. And today we just basically came out and ran the operational check of them and find out what's working and what's not. John Offie's team of scientists and technicians work for the Joint Training and Experimentation Center, based at Camp Guernsey. Unmanned aerial vehicles are one of their specialties. Now think radio-controlled aircraft with high-tech sensors and cameras. They, they're doing the current operations with manned air flight, pretty pricey. Uh, our cost, you know, our estimated cost is probably about one-third of the cost of manned flight to do the same operations. Experiments ramped up after a summer fire started at the camp. And it was a blessing that the incident commander uh, asked us to come out and get our stuff ready to go if we needed so that we could fly inside our restricted airspace here at Camp Guernsey and uh, provide him with some um, data, some information on this fire and, and uh, so they can tackle it. Offy said his aircraft only fly in restricted airspace in unpopulated areas like Camp Guernsey. At the Camp Guernsey Joint Training Center, I'm Army First Lieutenant Christian Van Eisen.